If your Renishaw laser tool setters have been giving false triggers when the tool has not yet broken the beam, or the beam has become unfocused and dispersed, the lenses inside the units may be dirty from oil and water in your compressed air supply and will need to be cleaned. First, clean the air regulator. Observe the significant difference between a cleaned filter on the right side and an uncleaned filter on the left. Unscrew the valve until the gauge pressure reads zero. If the valve is locked, pull up on it to unlock. Depressurize the supply side of the regulator by closing the valve or disconnecting the fitting that supplies air to the supply side of the regulator. Remove the air lines from the regulator by pushing in on the quick disconnect fitting with one hand and pulling the line out with the other. Disassemble the regulator and thorough, thoroughly clean all parts with warm water and Windex. Fill the filters with Windex and use an air gun to blow the Windex through from the inside out. Thoroughly dry all parts and reassemble the regulator. Before attaching the regulator to the machine, take the discharge air line which goes to the lasers and squirt a substantial amount of Windex into the line. Reattach the regulator and attach both air lines. Repressurize the supply air line. Screw in the regulator valve until the gauge is at maximum pressure. A stream of Windex should be emitted from the laser units as the air blasts through the lines. The laser beam may begin to dance or may even go out completely. This is normal. Wait for the laser beam to become steady and focused once all of the Windex has been blown out of the airlines. This will take approximately 15 to 20 minutes. Next, clean the lenses inside the laser units. Caution! While not required, it is highly recommended to shut off air to the lasers at the regulator for this next step to make dropping the orifice covers into the machine less likely. Use the supplied Renishaw tool to unscrew the orifice cover on the transmitter unit. Carefully remove it and blow through the orifice from the inside out using an air gun. Insert the second Renishaw tool into the now exposed opening, orienting it such that the extended part of the tool is at the top of the opening. Turn the tool approximately 90 degrees in either direction to open the air actuated plunger, exposing the laser lens. When the plunger becomes fully opened and you feel resistance, do not force the tool to turn any further. Caution! When opening the plunger, use extreme care to not look directly at the laser beam. Using a Q-tip or the supplied Renishaw cotton swabs, gently clean the lens by inserting the swab and rotating back and forth slowly. Inspect the swab. If it is visibly dirty, clean the lens again with a clean swab. Repeat this process until the swab comes out clean. Then, turn the Renishaw tool back to the original position to close the plunger. Remove the Renishaw tool from the opening. Then, use the other Renishaw tool to screw the orifice cover back onto the transmitter unit. Repeat this entire process to clean the lens inside the receiver unit. Caution! The orifice cover has very fine threads. Use extreme care to not cross-thread it or over-tighten it. Once the receiver has been reassembled, turn the air supply back on at the regulator. Turn the gauge pressure to approximately 35 to 40 PSI. Place a white piece of paper in front of the beam to ensure that it is now a focused beam with sharp edges. Pull the paper out of the beam and check the status LED on the units. If the LED is a steady green light, the lasers have been successfully cleaned and are ready for tool setting again. If the LED is a steady red or is inconsistently flickering between green and red, the lasers are likely still dirty. Repeat the cleaning process, starting with filling the air lines with Windex. You do not need to clean the regulator a second time. If the LED switches between green and red at a steady frequency, the system is experiencing a signal overload. This is because the newly cleaned laser is transmitting a more intense light than the receiver is expecting. This can be remedied by resetting the signal threshold. 
Open the electrical cabinet to your machine and find a box labeled NCI-5. If you have an older laser system, this box may be labeled NCI-4, but is identical in appearance to the NCI-5. Locate the four dip switches on the front of the box. Using a small flathead screwdriver, flip switch number two. Wait for a few seconds, then flip switch number two back to its original position. The status LED should now be a steady green light. The laser is now ready for tool setting again. For more information or to get a quote on the installation, service, or support of Renishaw laser tool setters or any other Renishaw probing equipment, please contact Automated Manufacturing Incorporated at 818-335-7070. Thank you.